Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. Today we're out on another Desmond's Donders day trip and we're beside the River Spey and there's plenty of water coming down the river from last night's heavy rain So why are we here today? Well again, just a day trip but we're here to show you something that you've not seen before No, it's not swans in the distance And it's not gulls sitting enjoying the slightly warmer weather and it's not the birds singing all around us so what are we here for well let's take a look It's a bit of a bridge. It's the Spey Viaduct which crosses the bridge between Garmouth over the bridge west to east and used to carry a railway line linking the villages. There'll be more in a history I'll be doing along with Lindsay's photos and there's the rest of the park up Very wide up. The river space on the bridge and showing some of its mighty reputation.
Now there's a viral video missed. He managed to regain his balance. Just imagine the extra views if he'd fallen in. I for one am glad he didn't. That's a treacherous river. They needed a bridge to span the spay. With no rock banks north of the Fockabers Road Bridge, how were they to contain the mighty spay within the bridge's span, or indeed ensure the security of middle supports to cope with frequent spring spates and constant changes of the river's channel? As Dick Lauder quotes in his book on the Muckle Spate, the spays are wanton woman who may stay in her own bed. And how true that has proved to be over the years. bridge crosses the River Spey close to its mouth between the former Garmouth and Spey stations. Sometimes also known as the Garmouth Viaduct. The viaduct has three sections. A central 350 foot bowstring approached on either side by three 100 foot plain truss girder bridges. Overall length is 948 feet. The viaduct has this great length due to its proximity to the mouth of the river. The course of the main channel and width of the river vary in spate conditions.
It took three years to build the bridge. The engineer was Patrick Barnett, who was the chief engineer of the Great North of Scotland Railway. He was helped by consulting engineers Blythe and Cunningham. The nickname of the Spey Viaduct is Barnett's Monument. construction of the viaduct and those at Colin delayed complete opening of this line until 1886. The course of the river has altered to the east after the construction and has also moved west again showing the sense of building such a long viaduct. To its north is the appropriately named Railway Arch Pool of which we saw fishermen attempting to catch the elusive salmon while we were there. Thank you for watching Desmond Stonders. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle, and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now. <laughs>